September 4th. We are here, we got the garage completely empty. And uh, they're gonna install two wall charges and I will document both uh, for future editions of this episode called, Please Waste Your Time, This Video Could Be For You. Charging that one's having the green going up and down. Everything's looking good. Sweet, that's exactly. Over here, it's charging. Wow. I, I think it's so good. Okay, so um, I think we can start this interview now. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting to tell. We, we have good news and some eh news. So let's get to the good news first is that uh, we have two guys from our local county, John Goody. Gowdy. Gowdy. Ah, crush it every time. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Ron. Ron. So these are two mass electricians. Even if you're not, I'm just calling you all that. <laughs> Which is a big thing in the electrician world, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Okay, so we're going to go with that. So um, these guys came down and installed my two wall connectors. And when I talked to their boss, they said these two wall connectors connectors can basically talk to each other so they won't overcharge or and or burn your house down from some shade tree uh, electrician that said oh i can do this real quick really fast and next thing you know your house is all burnt up so anyway uh can you tell me uh, maybe you or you john bryce can tell me what we're doing right now and how this connection uh happened to be why are you so fascinated with these uh having two wall connectors in the garage and, the, and, then there, and then there was the pause. <laughs> no, so you, Bryce. Oh, Bryce. Yeah, Bryce. Right. So okay. right now he's text, uh, testing the amperage on each leg. Mm -hmm. um, so really you don't want um, each leg to really get past about 40 amps. Okay. Um, so that's pulling, currently it's pulling 36, 37 amps on this charger. Right. And then it's going to be pulling the exact same on the other charger. So it... It evenly despairs the, just, you know, puts out the power evenly rather than shoving it all into one and uh, something happening. It, you know, it could burn okay. up. It can right. do something. So like if that. I had version one, which I did have before, which was the black wall connector, that would charge at 40 amps automatically. And if I would try to charge the other car, it would charge at 40 amps automatically too because they're not talking to each other. And then, and then next thing you know, amps 80 amps. 50 amps. Right. And then I'm outside crying. Yeah. And then social media were like, Fu has uh, plugged up his two Teslas thinking that they were charged. Okay, so. Yes. And then somehow these Tesla chargers talk to each other and they won't allow it, them together to draw over 40 amps. It'll, you know, and then it'll also prioritize if one is more dead than the other, the cars. It'll give one more amps than the other one does. Really? Yes, yeah. Wow, that is interesting. So I have a 200 amp house. So my, so let me just run through my 40 amps, or if you will, I guess it's all 40 amps. So I have uh, a stove, right? Mm -hmm. The dryer. Mm -hmm. I have two AC units. Yep. And then I have this. Two chargers. And two chargers. Yep. And I'm safe. I'm safe. Yes. There you go. Yes, You're safe. 
So here's the test now. So I'm going to move this amperage up. It's right now is at 20 amps. If you can see that, I'm gonna step it up to 40, right? You want me to step it up to 40? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm gonna just increase the piece. And uh, I don't think it's gonna move. Oh, that's perfect. It's not moving to 40. That's perfect. Is that really the perfect? Power is regulating the power in the house. Oh, it's regulating the power in the house. So, you want me to so check my the, wife's the, car? The chargers aren't even allowing it, allowing it to. It's not even it's, it's, it's two of them hooked up. Yeah. Okay. So ah. It's, it's literally just so protecting all your electrics. If we unplug this yeah. one and then try that. Yeah, just press the button, Pre press it in hold, and then pull it out. There you go. All right. All right, so now we have removed. This is great. We're doing this in real time. <laughs> this is not stage, ladies and gentlemen. So we're doing this in real time. So now you want me to try to increase the power on this yes. side, right? So this should go to 40 amps, right? Technically. Technically, yes. Yes. Okay, so now. Oh, look at that. It jumped to 39 amps. Oh, it already jumped up itself. Wow. Yeah, there you go. And now I got it at 40 amps. Yeah, I, yep, I got it at 40 amps. Dang, go, that's awesome. As soon as you turned it up, I was about 30. Oh, so let me take a look here. And then as soon as you put it up to 40 just now, now I'm at 42.5. I'm sorry, I got stuck. No, you're all good, you're all good. Look at that. Oh my God, that is so awesome. That is a great test. Yeah, I, that was awesome. I don't know if I can say if anybody has done that before, but I'm going to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. So um, to, to test it again, we can just plug it here. Yeah, we plug it all right, right so here. we're going to plug it here. We're going to see what happens. And you'll see the draw come out right here, actually. Okay. So he... He got it plugged in there. You ready? Ready. Yeah. Go for it. All good. And then. Now it's going to eventually, yep, see how it just dropped? It just dropped that yeah, quick yeah. to Drop 21. Instantly. Oh my gracious. Yep. That's pretty wild. Hey, that's awesome. Mm. Wow. That's a good, cool that is so that's, worth that, it. That, that's awesome. That is so worth it. For those who are thinking about not getting two, I think you should because that demonstration was just awesome. Yes. Yes. That is great. Priority. Priority. That's priority. Great, man, that is excellent. So, my wife's model Y is here, and then uh, the model S. Most people have seen this on social media or not, but it is so cool. So, the other kind of good bad news is that uh, they did a great job running my Ethernet cable from my dead power wall. <laughs> I shouldn't say dead, but I'm a little frosty right now. So, the power wall I think works like it was before, but I have to call them and see what's happening. So, Ethernet cable has been run from the back of my office all the way up over the door and down to the uh, brains of the uh, the gateway of the, the power wall. So I just talked to Tesla power wall. I was a little busy because these guys was wrapping up. So I don't know if we have closure yet for the power wall, but until then, well, I will let you know. So that would be another small break in this video. But again, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. I am very pleased with the two wall connectors we have here. This is version three. Uh, you see the other one on the other side. For those who still have version one wall connectors, and if you're not having any problems with it, then that's great. Uh, mine uh, did not have any problems at all. And there's the Amazon Prime electric vehicle that's rolling by. Uh, there is one thing to note. On version one, the cable was very thick and heavy. This cable is not as thick. It's very thin, it's very light. You can, um, it, it seems almost like it, it's not gonna hold enough amperage in, inside of the, the wiring, but it does, and it's very functional. If you do consider, if you are considering getting another EV in your garage or where you park your vehicle, and if you have a version one charger, please, please, please get rid of that version one charger and get yourself two wall connectors version three. Because if you have a version one, it's going to charge at 40 amps. And if you're trying to charge another vehicle, it's going to charge at 40 amps. And you might have to um, be very aware of what you are plugging in because it might not take, your house might not take that much power. And again, it may catch fire. So you don't want that. But if you have one vehicle and version one is working fine, great. Uh, it works no different than version three, other than you have this green light here, 
which is um, normal, but you also have a purple light here that would indicate that it is in connection and in speaking with the car. That's the only difference that you may see with version one versus version three. But I like version three. Um, we did the test as you saw in the video. It will definitely not charge at 40 amps if my wife and I are charging at the same time. I like that. I like that safety feature. Because All right, see you next time. Be safe out there. Peace.